what is going on guys healy here and today there is a bunch of new content that came out on mlb the show 20 the full game hasn't even released yet it officially releases tonight mlb the show has already uh put out packs and removed them from the market and there's been so much content within the past like three days there's a new player program there's new prospect packs and prospects added into the game and there is a new headliner which you can see is jimmy rollins the game hasn't even launched like i said if you guys don't know where the screen is you go to the main menu go over to the left go over to the home screen and it is right here this is where you find out all the content some people were a little confused on where to find this or why where or that there's content even releasing today I knew because of this schedule. So you can find it always there. Went over to Diamond Dynasty and we'll go over the new player program. To find that, go to the collect screen, go to programs. You're gonna go to player programs right here. And you can find all these guys in here already. Like starter George Brett, you can get at 50 points. I don't know how to exactly get this. Any win two games in Conquest? I've already done this. Conquest starter map. You could collect unlockables. Oh, there's a bunch of collections. Or you could do the moment for him and uh, eventually get him. But the one that we're going to go over at first inning is Curtis Granderson. 85 overall. And it doesn't look too hard. So you get four live series players here silver and bronze and then you get another silver and bronze team pack uh, to help fill out your collection and then you get 85 overall curtis granderson his stats he has 63 contact for righties, 70 versus lefties his power is 82 and 100 so he does have reverse splits his vision is 48 this is going to be a br goon and even a good card to start off the year because most of your games are going to be played on veteran and all-star. It's going to take a while for you to get up to that Hall of Fame gameplay where it will matter. His fielding's okay at 79. I have 74 arm, 77 reaction, 67 speed. So if you want to play him in left or right field, do so. He's going to have silver at all those positions. And you aren't necessarily locked in the play in med center if you want the gold fielding to earn him. You can do some mi uh, missions online, tally hits with center fielders. So you could basically use, like, let's say my lineup. I could use Mickey Mantle, Mike Trout, and Luis Robert out there and uh, get hits online. I could also find some center fielders. I could probably play the infield. I get extra base hits with Yankees. You could play with Yankees players as well. Uh, exchanging center fielders gives you five points and then defeat the Yankees on all-star difficulty gives you eight so right here you can get 33 points and then you could do some moments it appears that they released some new moments strictly for Curtis Granderson which gets you uh, three four five six seven it gives you 42 yeah 42 stars right here so you do that and then if you want to defeat the yankees on all-star you'd get the eight points right there for curtis we'll take a look at the moments see if they are hard or not yeah first inning right here the granderson program before we get into that let's see if this also affects the first inning program missions no not there no it does not oh, this is these only affect um so this only affects the curtis granderson collections oh you can collect curtis granderson for 20. okay so kurt Granderson is gonna be non-sellable regardless and yeah let's check out the moments 
one home run three extra base hits in three games you got to steal a base as well the stolen base is going to be very difficult one hit in an all-star game four extra base hits seven rbis in three games that one could be a little bit difficult but you are playing on rookie difficulty so shouldn't be too bad gotta hit a home run gotta hit a home run and then in nine games, you got to get 14 hits, six extra base hits. Should be very doable. And then five games, you got to get five hits, two extra base hits, home run, and three RBIs. Another one that should not be too hard. Should only take you, let's say, probably an hour. We'll have to see if you guys do do that program. Let me know down below. And uh, let me know how it actually goes. Like I said, you could go back to the featured program go down to collections and then do this granderson i don't know why he's not appearing right here but you collect him and you get 20 stars the next thing that got released today is a new prospect pack that includes a brand new set of players Luis robert and uh, nate pearson they're no longer in these packs uh, we're gonna start off with jesus luzardo is a curveball sinker change up for seaman slider this card looks dirty he is a starting pitcher he is not a relief pitcher like last year he does not have the outlier quirk though so because his main pitch is a curveball does hit 97 which is pretty good will i get him not really bryce lewis he's gonna be a rare tier in this he's basically like the nixon zell card from last year shout out to angle for mentioning that you can play all the infield besides first base and catcher and then you can play all the outfield spots he has 74 contact versus righties 83 versus lefties 71 power versus righties 81 versus lefties 77 vision so he is going to hit lefties better than righties uh this card should rake to start off the year mainly uh, since, like I said, you play on veteran and all-star. His fielding, 72. So if you play him at shortstop, he will have silver fielding. If you play him anywhere else, he will have bronze fielding. His 85 speed does make up for it, though. 76 arm, 76 reaction. You got Michael Kopak. I get that he's pitched in the majors. I'm, not, I'm, I'm still a little confused on why they give him a prospect card, though. Not complaining. 84 stamina, 88 hits per nine, 92 Ks per nine. Walks per nine is a little low, controls a little low. 99 on the fastball. He has a slider, changeup, and curveball as well. The big thing about him, he has this outlier quirk right here. So he will get 100 plus on his pitches a majority of the time. So you could get him and hit 102 probably on his pitches. That is going to be dirty. I scooped him up already before people might have noticed and his price rises. We will just have to wait on that. Christian Pash. Is that his name? Posh? Patch? I don't know. Graves Prospect, though. Center fielder. Hitting's okay. He does have 82 contact versus lefties. Everything else is in the 60s. Where he really shines is his fielding to 93, 90 arm. 91 reaction and his speed is an 87 so this card is somewhat like byron buxton but he's a better hitting byron buxton then we got julio rodriguez entering the game 18 year old julio rodriguez this card breaks his nice vision his contacts 80 plus his power is a little it's decent he'll get it out his fielding is 74 80 arm strength 57 speed and yeah julio rodriguez jared kalenic he'll probably be in the game soon i'll not be surprised if he was the highest collection reward for uh the program matt manning is also in the game uh he throws 96 he has a curve change 12 6 and 2 seamer the stats are pretty decent 80 plus for hits and k's his walks and control a little off. 92 stamina, which is the highest I've seen so far. Uh, Nick Madrigal. Yeah, Nick Madrigal is the last one. So the White Sox get 
another future stars card or prospect card contact is great power is okay vision is awesome so this guy's gonna be a contact machine is decent fielding at 82 he can only play second base and he has 88 speed so this card probably gonna be a little underrated and he slaps so go along with the prospects you can go over to the collections go to the legends and flashbacks and go to prospects and there's um rewards for collecting guys so right now there are 8 12 14 guys in this set i think there's gonna be i don't know how many sets there's gonna be but they've only revealed the first two they're gonna save the 21 collection until there's actually 21 guys in the game but dylan carson carlson you could get for collecting five he's already been in the game and then the next one is 90 overall mckenzie gore top pitching prospect for the san diego padres 86 hits per nine 92 k's per nine 88 stamina it throws a four seam curve circle change and slider great speed differentials in all his pitches does not have the first pitch quirk or uh, the outlier quirk so not going to be throwing 100 plus most of the time but it's still a very solid card especially for a lefty and then we have the set two pack which does include jimmy rollins new legend in this game 91 overall got an impact veteran card 77 contact versus righties 95 versus lefties powers at 62 and 63 with 92 vision switch hitter might have to get this card and play him at shortstop is 85 fielding 90 arm 87 speed solid card all the way around and a great legend to add into mlb the show and that's gonna do it for this video that's all the content that they released today if you guys did enjoy it make sure you click that like button subscribe down below and make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified every time i upload a video give me two videos on the screen right now one of them is my most recent video the other one is a random one click on them if you're not already this is Healy, and i'm out peace